Hi guys, Milan Lisaljevic here. In this week's video, I want to talk to you about two books that have changed my life. These books are The Inner Game of Tennis by Timothy Galway and Zen in the Art of Archery by Eugen Harrigel. I absolutely love these books. Anybody who is interested in becoming a stronger, more confident performer, anybody who wants to know how to deal with lapses in concentration, uh, anybody who's interested in more efficient, more natural ways of learning, this is the book for you. These are the books for you. Go out and order them right now. Um, you can find these used for just a dollar or two a piece. And uh, order your copies. And uh, these books are really tremendous. Um, it might seem that a book about tennis is something really strange to read for a musician. Um, I mean, I don't think the word music is mentioned once in the book, but actually I find it to be one of the book's big advantages. It is because it talks about something entirely different. Um, it's because of that that we can find these very strong parallels, actually, with music performance. If you think about it, many things are the same. Tennis is this very complex skill, very complex motorically and psychologically, and the psychological side of it is truly what separates the strongest players from the less strong ones. Now, for you tennis fans out there, the Australian Open just finished the other day, and um, it was fascinating to watch, and it's fascinating to see how people deal with being close to defeat, or how they deal with you know, multiple unforced errors, and you know how they deal with moments when, where, when uh, they're what's happening inside them is really really becomes becomes the big, the, the big problem and um, those skills are something that the inner game of tennis talks about because Timothy Galway who was a tennis professional and a coach realized that a lot of people have tremendous knowledge on how tennis should be played or its technique but putting those in practice is 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 somehow much harder and he found that there just wasn't enough literature or or, or enough coaching done in this regard. And I would say music is very much the same. We do work a good amount on the on the technical, on the craft side of things, but what's going on inside your head doesn't usually get a lot of attention. So if you're a young uh, player, or even if you're, you've, you've been out there for a while, but you're interested in learning more about the psychology of performance, The Inner Game of Tennis is the book for you. I usually have multiple copies of this book around and I read it often. I must have reread it 20 times by now. It's one, one of my most faithful companions, actually, uh, when I'm doing auditions or when I have some big performances coming up and I really just need to get into a, into a um, good state of mind. Um, the other book I'm going to talk about is Zen in the Art of Archery. This book was written by Elgin Harrigel, who was a professor of philosophy, and he lived in Japan in the 1930s. He um, was studying archery, one of the great, greatest um, teachers of archery ever in Japan, and that was Awa Kenzo. And uh, he writes about his many years of training, training with Master Kenzo and how he basically began to realize that archery is not really about hitting the external target that's in front of you, but rather it's about hitting the target inside. That really the only opponent you have in archery has nothing to do with the bow and arrow, and the bow and arrow is just a means to reach a different level of spiritual development. And that's what I wanted to get to today as well. Once you have been playing for a while and you get older and your perspective on, uh, on, on why you're doing this changes and you start to ask yourself a lot of questions, I find that a lot of players, and I, I myself included, I was in this position as well, you start to, you know, you, you, go, in, you go out there and you want to win in the contest you're entering, you want to do well in professional endeavors you're doing, but one starts to ask oneself, what am I really going for? You know, who am I really competing against? These books give you some incredibly valuable insights into that. And for me, when I was in my early 20s and I discovered these books, the idea that ultimately 
It's about conquering yourself and your own demons. It was an incredibly refreshing once. Um, to go back to tennis, for example, <coughs> so the Australian Open just finished the other day. This is one of the major tennis tournaments of the year. And it's always fascinating to watch. To those who don't watch tennis, I recommend you watch tennis at least so that you can see how people deal with self-doubt, with lapses in concentration, or being only points away from defeat. It's those skills that are absolutely crucial in being a good performer, no matter what your field of expertise is. And viola, of course, is just one of them. Um, you know, there's a few tennis players out there that seem invincible right now. They're so, <coughs> sorry, they're so far ahead of the rest. And yet, I strongly believe that they're not the only ones with this kind of talent. The difference is that a lot of people ultimately never get to a point where they really fix their own problems and they, they, they take care of these internal issues that they have that ultimately prevent them from playing their best. And if you're interested in this kind of topic, The Inner Game of Tennis and Zen in the Art of Archery are the books for you. You might want to start with those. There is, at this point, a good amount of literature on this topic. There's also books by Noah Kagayama, who I like very much. Um, there's a book by Stephen Nachmanovich on this topic. Um, I think it's called Free Play. Um, there's books by Don Green as well. Um, I've worked with Don myself, um, and he's an absolutely fantastic coach, and I strongly recommend him as well. If you want to start, however, with the essential reading for anybody who wants to become a better performer, start with these. They're um, available everywhere, totally inexpensive if you buy used, and um, the ideas in them, uh, I mean, this could I could make 10 videos about this, but for starters, go out there, start reading them, and start thinking about how is it that you learn things and how much are you really relying on your subconscious mind to absorb information and how to ultimately lead you into a place where you're a stronger performer. I think that's a, that's a fascinating um, topic to, uh, to discuss and observe. So there you go. I love these two books. Go out and get them. And uh, thank you very much. Leave your comments below and we'll talk more again in just a couple of days. Thank you so much. Bye.